Have you ever wondered about the physical journey that Buddha embarked on during his quest for enlightenment? Our tale begins with the birth of Prince Siddhartha Gautama, who would later become the Buddha in the 6th century BCE. Born into royal luxury in Lumbini, a bustling city located in present-day Nepal, he was destined for greatness. But Siddhartha's life took an unexpected turn when he renounced his princely life, seeking answers to the suffering he saw in the world. His quest began with a dramatic departure from his palace, leaving behind his royal status, his family, and all the luxurious trappings of his previous existence. Lumbini, the place of his birth, holds a unique and profound significance in Buddha's journey. It was here that Queen Maya Devi gave birth to him under a sal tree in a beautiful garden. Today, this place is honored as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting thousands of pilgrims from around the world. It is a testament to the transformative journey that started over two and a half millennia ago. Within the boundaries of Lumbini, you'll find the Maya Devi Temple, a sacred site that houses the exact spot where Buddha was born. It stands as a physical reminder of Buddha's humble beginnings and his extraordinary journey towards enlightenment. But Buddha's story didn't end in Lumbini. His spiritual quest took him far beyond the comforts of his birthplace, leading him on a journey that would forever change the course of human history. His teachings continue to inspire millions around the world, offering a path towards peace and enlightenment. So Buddha's journey started in Lumbini, but where did he go next? Let's trace his steps. Imagine a prince renouncing all his luxuries and meditating under a tree. This is not a fairy tale, but the story of Bodh Gaya, Located in the heart of India, in the state of Bihar, Bodh Gaya is a place of paramount importance to Buddhists. It is here, under the shade of a Bodhi tree, that a young prince named Siddhartha Gautama, later known as Buddha, attained enlightenment. The Bodhi tree, which translates to the Tree of Awakening, has a story as captivating as the man who sat beneath it. It is said that Siddhartha, dissatisfied with the teachings of the time, sought his own path to understanding. He sat under this tree, vowing not to rise until he had found the truth. After 49 days of meditation, at the age of 35, he achieved enlightenment and became the Buddha, the Awakened One. Bodh Gaya is not just about the Bodhi tree, but also the magnificent Mahabodhi Temple. This grand structure, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands adjacent to the Bodhi tree. The temple, with its soaring tower and intricately carved reliefs, is an architectural marvel. It is said to have been built by Emperor Ashoka, a fervent follower of Buddhism, around 250 years after Buddha's enlightenment. The temple is a potent symbol of the synthesis of faith and artistry. It houses a large gilded statue of Buddha, depicting the moment of his enlightenment. Visitors from around the world come to witness this place, seeking to understand or experience the profound peace that Buddha found here. But Bodh Gaya is more than its physical elements. It's a place where history, spirituality, and culture intertwine. A place that resonates with the energy of countless pilgrims who have walked its grounds over centuries. Bodh Gaya is where Buddha realized the ultimate truth. But his journey didn't end here. What if you could visit the very place where Buddha first shared his wisdom? Welcome to Sarnath. This serene location, just over six miles from the bustling city of Varanasi, is steeped in history and spirituality. It was here that Siddhartha Gautama, known as the Buddha, gave his first sermon after achieving enlightenment, setting the wheel of Dharma in motion. Sarnath is not just a place. It's a chapter in the great tale of Buddha's journey. Here the Buddha unfolded the path to Nirvana, the Four Noble Truths, and the principles of the Eightfold Path. These teachings form the foundation of Buddhism, a religion and philosophy that would later spread across much of Asia. Dominating the Sarnath landscape is the majestic Dhammak Stupa, a cylindrical tower that stands as a testament to Buddha's first sermon. This towering structure, adorned with intricate stone carvings, is believed to mark the exact spot where Buddha shared his wisdom. The presence of the Stupa gives Sarnath an air of tranquility and reverence, making it a place of pilgrimage for Buddhists from around the world. Not far from the Stupa, you'll find the Ashoka Pillar. Erected by Emperor Ashoka, a fervent disciple of Buddhism, this pillar serves as a symbol of his dedication to the faith. Although only a fragment of the original pillar remains, it is still a significant landmark. The pillar's four lion heads, now adopted as the national emblem of India, represent power, courage, 
pride, and confidence, virtues that resonate with the teachings of Buddha. Despite the passage of over 2,000 years, the essence of Sarnath remains untouched. The wisdom that Buddha imparted here continues to inspire millions around the globe, reminding us of the path to spiritual liberation. Each stone, each carving, each monument whispers tales of Buddha's teachings, echoing his message of peace and enlightenment. From Sarnath, Buddha continued his journey, spreading his teachings. His words, first spoken in the tranquility of Sarnath, still reverberate throughout the world today. Once you've visited Sarnath, you'll understand why it's more than just a historical site. It's a living testament to the enduring wisdom of Buddha. Every journey has an end, and so did Buddha's. His ended in a place now known as Kushinagar. Nestled in the eastern part of Uttar Pradesh, India, Kushinagar is more than just a city. It is a spiritual beacon that has been drawing in seekers of truth and enlightenment for over two millennia. It was here that the Buddha, after a life filled with profound teachings and compassionate deeds, attained Parinirvana, the ultimate liberation, the final release from the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Kushinagar, with its serene and peaceful atmosphere, seems to echo the tranquility that must have washed over the Buddha as he breathed his last and entered a state of eternal bliss. It's a place that resonates with the poignant beauty of endings, reminding us that even in death, there can be profound peace and liberation. The Parinirvana Stupa, a prominent landmark in Kushinagar, stands as a testament to Buddha's final liberation. It is believed that this is the exact location where the Buddha passed away. The stupa, with its simple yet majestic structure, is an embodiment of the Buddha's teachings, a symbol of the simplicity and grandeur of enlightenment. A few steps away from the stupa, you'll find the Parinirvana Temple, housing the famous reclining statue of Buddha. This colossal statue, over six meters long, depicts Buddha lying on his right side, moments before attaining Parinirvana. The calm and serene expression on his face, the closed eyes, the curl of his lips, everything about this image embodies the peace that Buddha attained through his journey. Despite its historical and religious significance, Kushinagar is not just a place to reflect on endings, it is a place to reflect on the path that leads to those endings, the path paved by Buddha's teachings. It's a reminder that every step on this path can lead to greater understanding, compassion, and ultimately, liberation. Kushinagar marked the end of Buddha's earthly journey, but his teachings live on. Every corner of this sacred city whispers the profound wisdom of the Buddha, urging us to seek, to question, and to understand. So let's continue our journey exploring the legacy that Buddha left behind. Buddha's journey was not just physical, it was a spiritual voyage that continues to inspire millions. In the aftermath of Buddha's enlightenment, his teachings began to ripple outwards from India, spreading a message of compassion and wisdom that would resound through the ages. These teachings, known collectively as Dharma, offered a path towards enlightenment, a way to break free from the cycle of suffering. Buddha's impact has been profound and far-reaching. His teachings gave rise to Buddhism, a religion that today has over 500 million followers worldwide. Yet the influence of Buddha extends beyond the confines of any single faith. His teachings on mindfulness, compassion, and the impermanence of all things have found resonance in a multitude of contexts from psychology to philosophy to popular culture. And then there are the historic places we've visited today, Bodh Gaya, where Buddha attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree, Sarnath, where he first set the wheel of Dharma in motion, and Kushinagar, where he entered Parinirvana, his final liberation from the cycle of birth and death. These places hold a deep significance for Buddhists worldwide. They are more than just landmarks on a map. They are tangible connections to the Buddha's life and teachings. But perhaps what is most remarkable is that these sites and the teachings they represent continue to inspire and guide people on their own journeys towards enlightenment. Every year, millions of people make pilgrimages to these places, seeking to walk in the footsteps of the Buddha and to experience for themselves the profound peace and wisdom he embodied. Buddha's legacy is not just in the past, it's very much alive in the present. His teachings continue to guide and inspire us, offering a beacon of hope and wisdom in a world often marked by turmoil and confusion. The places we've explored today are not just geographic locations, they are waypoints on a journey towards enlightenment. 
just as Buddha once experienced.